playing Oust on the Magic Game Center. Um, Two-player abstract game played on a good board that was invented by Mark Steer in 2007. The goal of Oust is to capture all opponent's stones on the board. Each player has an allocated color. Starting with black, players take turns uh, placing stones of their own color on empty intersections of the board. There are two kinds of legal moves players can make. Non-capturing and capturing moves. A non-capturing move, a player can put their stone on any empty intersection that does not have a horizontally or vertically adjacent stone of that player's color. Some examples of non-capturing moves show a transparent. Yeah. Right. Capture move. Are you are you looking at the rules? Because there's some visuals yeah, that yeah, might help. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. It's, it's, it's a pretty abstract. Um, a player. I don't know anything about Mark Steer games is that I can't just listen to the rules and pretend. I don't think I've ever, I don't know, I don't think I've. Um, a player can put their stones on, in, on an empty intersection that is horizontally or vertically adjacent to our stone or stones of their color. By doing so, the player creates a group of horizontally or vertically connected stones of their color, including the placed one that meets the following conditions. The player's new group of stones touches at least one opponent stone. All groups of opponent stones that touch the player's group must be smaller than the player's group. When making such a move, all opponent's groups touching the player's group are removed from the board and the player gets an extra turn. The player doesn't have any legal moves, they pass their turn, but a player must move if possible. The player wins the game by capturing all opponent stones. through it all, but I generally understand that the capturing is a little bit... So, so if you had a stone and it makes... So say if I put one at C5. Yeah. You could put one at C4 and that would capture right, my C5. Just, just but other than that, that's a capture move. Other than that, uh, a non-capture move, you can't place one next to your stone. Uh, horizontally, so you could unless place, you're capturing, right? Yeah, so you could place one at D one if you're D three if you're capturing. Uh, but on, or I guess D one too, but uh, and that has to be not next to uh, you. Yes, so I can put one horizontally next to that and it'll capture it. Boy, if I weren't hoping that you were going to go elsewhere. And then I'll get an extra turn, so then I'll be able to capture again. Yeah, I was really hoping you were going to go to G9, and then I would get you. <laughs> Good square here. I 
headquarters. So yeah, we'll start uh, running out of spaces per eventually, pretty soon, probably. And then that's where capture will take place, because you kind of have to, like, you'll start to have to place down on places that aren't helpful. The getting an extra move when you capture is just fucking brutal. Quaz-swak-ger. Quaz-swak. Someone is spectating our game. I hope you tell me how bad the job I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, you almost never want to place one down next to mine. Oh, crazy. I was not thinking that that would have... Yeah, all right, I see it now. I mean, I mean, I honestly, I think the game was lost as soon as you made that first capture. 
because it lies in yeah, the second capture and it's just like such a giant like that whole corner that whole corner got captured I um maybe but I would also say there's spots like um I can run out of moves too and even though I have more on the board right now it's true, yeah. I've played yeah. a few games where I have lost because <laughs> in situations yeah I mean I've only played this a few times yeah. but like we both run out of moves, and then if I just have to start doing one to make your group bigger, then I'm fairly confident right now, but I'm just I don't saying that yeah, I play I play games like this where I just continue had to make a move that would let him capture me, and then I have to make, and then he yeah he get an extra turn and then I just I, then it would be my turn I'd have to do a move that was bad for me and continue and continue and do yeah. yeah, and that was against Crowded too. Just having to take like one or two captures, which just can be real for you know. Yeah. Goodness gracious. I would say Alf's and maybe one other one or two of the games are more confusing, but I've never had a problem with Mark Steer's rules, I would say. I don't know either, uh, but I think with a board like this for me with a board like this, I like I have to be able to see it. Yeah. I think that way with a lot of directions. There are very few directions. That I feel, yeah. I can just, uh, Alex came over recently. To without looking at the board, okay. Alex came over recently, and he's trying to make his own board game. That's like similar to Magic, uh, oh. but it had a chessboard element. Um, So he he was sitting there explaining the rules to me for like thirty minutes, and I was like, "For the average person, this would be too long." But I've I've read and listened to a lot of board game rules, so that's the only reason I think I'm uh, able to still be paying attention. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Just put a lot of thought into it so far. Thanks. There's no, I don't know that there's anywhere I can go that doesn't just resolve the capture. Yeah. Damn. I think there's only a handful of places for me left. Yeah. Right. There's at least some of these squares that I made on the F and I line there. Good for you not to move there, but they're also good for me not to move there too. So, yeah, uh, absolutely. It's like I want to take up as much space, but then it, yeah, prevents me from 
kind of kind of like how you have in this left hand side of uh, all grouping together. And see, and one of the things was like Eric made it where like I would have to capture a smaller one of his, but then I would have to go again, and then he he would have like a group over here on the left where he could continue making a big group because they're all next to each other, and yeah. if you get an extra turn, then he just that was a very disappointing game where he just made like a very big group at the end. <laughs> I'm I'm more confident now. I think. Yeah, well, definitely. I mean, I I see a few places I can go that I think you can't go. So. Yeah, I'm gonna try this to see if this helps, but I'm not sure. Yeah, I'd be interested to play this again. It's a fun one. There's a hex version of this. Oh, cool. I'm not seeing any places you can go that are helpful, uh, but I'm... Nope, not, not a place. Yeah. Not I'm not saying that's like the definite end all. I'm not, I'm not a pro at this, but I'm not saying too many. Yeah, that should be it. I'll do it. Something like that would have happened. Yeah. We should be pretty close to over. I always had, uh, well, I usually need more visuals for Go variants. I'm just going to go Yeah. yeah, so there's a hex version. I played the hex version twice, I think. We'll be playing that more. <laughs> 